Hi, OpenXML developers. This is Eric White. In this screencast, I'm going to show you a pretty cool way where you can integrate OpenXML functionality in a PowerShell script using C Sharp. So this is a different way of integrating OpenXML functionality than using PowerTools for OpenXML, which are a set of commandlets that enable you to do interesting things with OpenXML in PowerShell scripts. This is a different approach and it's pretty interesting. So let's dig in and I'll show you what this is about. Here is the PowerShell script that enables us to put together this interesting functionality. Up here at the top, we have a list of the assemblies that we need to reference in this OpenXML program. And these are the ordinary assemblies that you are commonly referencing in an OpenXML c -sharp program or vb.net program. These assemblies are set into this ASSEM variable. We're going to use that variable down here when we use the add type commandlet. And just below the initialization of that ASSEM array of strings that contain the fully qualified assembly references, there is a source variable that contains C sharp code that has all the appropriate using statements and it declares a little class called basic test. And underneath there, there's a static method called do openxml func. And below that, we have a typical use of the word processing document class where we open the word processing document. And then this is just a super simple little query that gets a list of the paragraphs in the document and then returns a string that contains the count of the number of paragraphs in that document. Then dropping down, we have this invocation of the add type commandlet, passing in the referenced assemblies and passing in the type definition and the source variable. And below that, we simply invoke the do openxml func passing in the name of the document. And here we have that PowerShell script and we have a document test.docx. Let's open test.docx. You can see we have a simple little document that has three paragraphs in it. And when I run that PowerShell commandlet, it tells us that there are three paragraphs in that document. A couple of interesting little points. In order to get the fully qualified names of those assemblies, the easiest way is to use the gacutil utility. And the easiest way to run the gacutil utility is using a Visual Studio command prompt. So. I'll come over here, go to Visual Studio 2010, go to the tools. Here's a Visual Studio command prompt. And if I want to find the fully qualified name of the Windows base assembly, then I type gacutil-l windows base. And here are the fully qualified names of that assembly. One's for version 3.0 and the other's for version 4.0. And if I do the same thing for document format.openxml, then we can find the fully qualified name of that assembly. So that's how you can get this information that you're going to set up here in this list of assemblies that you need to reference. One final note is that this works with PowerShell 3.0. There may be ways to make this work with prior versions of PowerShell, but I didn't research that. So I just used PowerShell 3.0. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. 
Come back often to openxmldeveloper.org and follow me on Twitter at Eric White Dev and follow OpenXML on Twitter at OpenXML Dev. See you later. <laughs>